In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly nine things you can do to instantly make yourself way more sexy and give you that natural sex appeal. Cause I will say one thing, in today's dating market, looks matter, but what really matters over looks is that sex appeal, bro. How sexy you are, especially if you're a brother. A lot of you guys watching me are brothers, right? And when it comes to brothers, I'ma be honest with you, bro. Your game matters, your money matters, but the biggest thing is your sex appeal. So the number one thing that gives you the best sex appeal is one, take amazing photos. I'm gonna say this every day on my channel, every day. Take, take better photos, take better photos, take better photos, take better photos, but none of you guys aren't gonna hear me. But I will say the one thing that transformed my day in life was my photos. And I was working with a client the other day, right? Guy is a good looking dude. I'm gonna be honest with you, you guys are brothers, right? You guys know women love the guys with the mixed looking hair, the straighter hair, right? I'm looking at him like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, you you decent looking. And I look at his phone like, bro, no, you look like a nerd, no, no. Bro, he had the suit on, right? But the suit, it was a mirror selfie with a suit. He's on Tinder, bro. Tinder, girls on Tinder are looking for Pound Town, okay? But I realized like, yo, you have tats and you have a six pack? Bro, if you don't go to the beach and take a beach photo, a high quality one, you're not gonna get more dates. And so he ended up changing his profile and you will see the quality matches going from day to night. The girl's gonna meet up from day to night. You'll see everything just change, right? And so if you guys wanna get your profile review, check out the link in the description where I'm doing profile reviews for your dating audit. But back to this video. Number two is putting on more muscle. And I'll be honest with you, I've been saying workout, workout, workout. But when I've been doing my coaching calls or I've been working with clients, I realize a lot of you guys do not work out. A lot of you guys are out of shape. And the thing is, when you start working out, when you get those newbie gains, bro, that's gonna make you more attractive. It's gonna give you that more sex appeal, bro. I'll tell you right now, the chest muscle, the ab muscle, the bicep, tricep, and the back, these are all gonna get you way more attractive, bro. Focus on these muscle groups and the shoulders too. So once you start focusing on these muscles by doing compound exercises, you gonna find out the girls are touching you more. <laughs> it's not because you got more cheese. It's not because you got more attractive. You just put on muscle and they just can't resist you. Like one thing I will say, a lot of times girls, when they meet up with me, they're like, oh, your body's nice, your body's nice. But they don't even know, bro. I'm still skinny as hell, I'm gonna put on weight. But number three is not really like a physical thing, it's by simply being more aggressive. One thing that I see that a lot of people, most men nowadays are just weak, bro. Most men are just pussies. Most men are just not aggressive enough, bro. You're scared to make the move. You're scared to act out. You wanna be all playful and fun over text messages, bro. Simply, yo, be more aggressive. Tell her like, yo, don't ask her like, hey, let's go out. Can we go out for drinks? Can we do this? No, bro, tell her, yo, meet me at this spot at this time. She's gonna be like, whoa, you're aggressive. Okay, are you gonna meet me there? Yes. So that's the thing. Even when you're talking to her, like, yo, take the lead. Like, yo, I remember one time I was walking down the street and the girl didn't move her. I almost got hit by a car. I pulled her up right here. Like, yo, come here, what you doing? And I could tell just by looking at me, she probably was she looking at me, she was just getting turned on. The fact that I was being aggressive and dominant because most men aren't able to do that. And the fact, girls would be like, yo, I wanna go here. But I tell her like, no, we're not going here. No, we're going where I wanna go. Just that aggression, it makes you more attractive because I don't care what nobody says, women do not like feminine men. Women hate feminine men. They were post by Number four is, bro, thinking you are the prize. And I'm gonna cook this up for TikTok. Because one thing, most guys, whenever you say, most people, when you say men are the prize, they're no, men are the prize. Men are not this. Men are the woman the prize. No, bro. At the end of the day, if you are the top, I'm only talking to the top guys, the 1%. When you are the 1%, no one is better than you. Not just when you have over 100K. Over 100K is nothing, bro. You should be striving for 200K. When you get that money and then you got Got the body, now you got the money and the sex appeal, bro. Ooh, let's not talk about the charisma and mouthpiece. When you got all that, you are the prize. Nobody can compete with you. And when you have that aggression too, that masculine energy, like, yo, you see a dude, like, yo, he can't step up to me. Or you can say no to a girl, you are the prize. Because those type of guys are rare. A pretty face, a pretty smile, yo, you can meet that anywhere on Tinder, bro. There's tons of beautiful girls, but the complete package is a dude, you cannot meet that anywhere. That's why I tell you guys, always strive to be the best. Always strive to be the 1%, dog. Number five is simply enhancing your social media presence. When you enhance and your social media present, you instantly become more attractive. The biggest thing I preach is like, yo, make sure to use the story feature, the highlight feature. Once you start using the highlight features, girls can see your lifestyle. See, the one thing women love is the lifestyle. That They don't want 100K, they want the lifestyle. When she sees, oh, you got a nice crib. Oh, your crib got a view. Oh, when she sees you got a nice car. Oh, you 
you have the beamer? Or when she see oh you always travel, oh you always on the move. And then on top of that, she sees all your outfits on your Instagram. She sees what you're doing. She sees you with some hot girls. You got social life and you fly and you got swag. She's showing this to her friend like, oh, this guy's this, this guy's this. Oh, he went to the, that restaurant? Oh my God, what if I went to that restaurant with him? She's putting herself in that lifestyle, right? And so when you have that nice, attractive Instagram, girls always fall in love. Number six is, hey, I'm even working on this myself. It's like, bro, grow out your beard. See, I got this beard right here, but I'm trying to get all this right now so I can become more attractive, right? I'm still working on myself. And I recently started using Minox. I'm only about a month in. I've been using it right here. But what? You guys gonna see in three, four months? Ooh, when I got the full beard, you guys gonna see a different level of confidence on my channel. But I'll tell you right now, I remember I was at Whole Foods that day and I see girls that I used to see in high school. I remember I went up to a girl. I was like, hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. She, she, I could tell she didn't really know who I was. And then I was like, yo, how you been? And then I told her my name. She's like, oh, she, she, her mouth just dropped. She, and she was like, oh my God, you look amazing. And the first thing she kept on doing, she was like, wow. She was fascinated by even this small beard. So once you start growing out the beard, I can only tell you the results I'm gonna get once I get this. So I'm using the Minoxo. Hey, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna tell you what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna get the full beard with the Minoxo. So I don't know, if, if you guys don't wanna get the options, you can do it if you want. But I'll tell you right now, I'm getting to that 1%, I'm gonna get all the shorty. Then the next thing is being around hot Girls. Girls are women are naturally just competitive as hell. And when they see that your ex was bad, ooh, she gonna like, oh, she he, he does she looks better than me. But when she sees like, yo, you have a little party, you have a kickback, and it's all hot girls, now she's gonna be like, okay, I gotta dress better. I gotta be around him. Or even when you're going out, like yo, I remember I had this nice turtleneck with a chain, and the girl came up to me like, yo, you look good, you amazing, wow, you really look good. I like this outfit. When the girl seen that, she stepped up. I never seen her wear flats ever again. I never seen her wear sneakers ever again. She always wearing heels trying to look better than me. But when she sees you around hot girls, naturally she just gets jealous and competitive and she puts you in a different category. Cause I'm not gonna cap, a man's value is not just judged on his money, his looks, it's judged on the caliber of woman he can have. And then lastly, Bro, simply just getting more money. That makes you look instantly more sexy. I know, I'd be trying to stay away from, to get more, no, i get more money, bro. Because I'll tell you, once you go from 20K to 100K, the way you walk, the way you move, the way you talk is just gonna be different. We go from 100 to 200, woo, you gonna be walking with your chest up. Then you don't think you 6'4 now. But nah, the thing is you just got more confident because you know you got more dispensable, disposable income and you know you're higher value. You know you're a, a higher status dude. And then once you get the more money, you got the more luxury stuff, or you gonna be walking different. I, my confidence transformed when I moved out my parents' crib to move into DC. What? I just naturally got more confident. Every single girl, oh, you wanna see my crib? Oh, you wanna see my crib? Oh man, it was a difference. You can just tell in the confidence. Like bro, every time I go to the gym, I know like, yo, I'm about to be the best, I'm about to be the best. But when I got that more job, when I got that more security, I'm like, okay, bet, I'm on the right path, okay? But yo guys, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to check out the link in the description. If you guys wanna transform your dating life in 12 weeks, check out the link in the description. But yo guys, I freaking love you. And if you guys like this kind of content, check out this video right here where I talk about how I literally transformed myself in my 20s. So if you're in a place right now where you feel like you're not the best version of yourself and you wanna get to that 1%, check out this video right here.